How does this address resolution protocol work? Now assume there is a person or there is a system. He knows his IP, he knows his MAC. Alright? Now he wants to talk to some other person. He knows the IP but he is not aware of the MAC. MAC is the actual computer or physical NIC embedded address. That is unique all over the world. So how does it work? This is the kind of actual MAC somebody wants through ARP. This is the IP known to uh, known to both the parties. So ARP will come where? I will take some random uh, say packet like ICMP. Okay, Internet Control Message Protocol. It only knows about or try to find out the network issues. But what is the scenario? You will see where the ARP will come. So this is the IP known IP. This is the MAC known MAC. Now there has to be a conversation between this IP 10.1.1.1 and 10.1.1.3. So what will happen? You know you need to know the MAC address that is CCC because you are aware of 10.1.1.1. This is yours. AAA is yours. IP is also known for PC3 which is 10.1.1.3 but the MAC is not known. So what will happen? Take an example of just simple ping. Okay, when you you always always ping. So you are pinging the PC3. Now when you ping, for example, ICMP, ICMP message is there, ICP, the uh, source IP, destination IP and the source MAC is known, AA. But the mass destination MAC is not known. Here comes the ARP. ARP will ask, oh, this is IP. Whose IP is this? Please give me the MAC address. So this ARP will go to every, every uh, system. The system will discard these messages. This is broadcast message. So now these 10.1.13 will say, oh, this is my IP. So I will give you my Mac. This CCC will go with the ARP reply. This is ARP reply will be embedded inside ICMP and then the other process will go on. So basically the uh, IP is known, Mac is, need, Mac is needed or other person or other PC to communicate. That is how ARP works.